What's up, you crazy YouTubers? This is Mike from the Autograph Network, aka The Godfather, coming to you from the home office, and I got a huge recap video for you guys. I haven't made a video in a couple days, and mail has backed up. I don't even have enough fingers to show you guys how many I've gotten in. Uh, 13 total packages, I think. Most of them TTMs, a couple odds and ends, so we're going to jump right into it. I apologize up front, this will be a long video. Um, first one coming from my buddy William. You guys actually helped him out. He sent the letter about the Chris Chambliss uh, autograph that he couldn't identify. And that just shows the power of the network and the nation. And uh, you guys nailed it. Also gave me a list of a couple people uh, I might be interested in writing to. Also asked a general question, and I'll throw the general answer out to all you guys. Asked if I had a list of the people associated with the JFK autographs I get in you know, what they did and addresses I used. And unfortunately I don't, but uh, my buddy Cletus, uh, Garrett, Cardcutter23 on YouTube, made a great video and it's about research. And that's a huge part of TTMing. Research, 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 and that's all it is. I get all my addresses off Star Tiger. If you guys aren't on Star Tiger, I highly recommend it. But you also have to make notes. Anytime you guys read a news story on somebody or hear something on somebody's video, jot down the name and then do the research. Um, because that is part of TTMing. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a list, so I, I don't have anything to send you, William. Um, also, he asked for a couple of signed cards from the project I'm working on. These are my business cards that I send out with my request. Um, this is for everyone out there. If you want to request something from somebody, treat it like an autograph request and just send an SASE. It will get to you a lot quicker. So, William, I'll try and get those out soon um let's do this one you guys know i wrote to ernest brandt a couple weeks ago and he was a witness to the jfk assassination and he sent a list of stuff he'd be willing to send me if i made a small donation the guy's up in his upper 80s or maybe early 90s and uh lives off his social security a non-celebrity like that i'm more than willing to help out because he is very kind to people that write to him so sent me this and sent me a bunch of stuff to read. Uh, it's all you know, photocopied articles and photos, but it doesn't matter because it's all he's got his own personal touch on him, all personal stories. Um, I'm not going to go over all of it, but it's you know all personalized related to the JFK assassination. He was there. Um, sent me a nice thank you letter for the photos and a nice personal note. So that's. That's pretty awesome. Like I said, I'm always happy to help out somebody like that when they make a request for a donation like that. Um, let's get into the TTMs, guys. And I tried to sort these the best I could. JFK stuff will be towards the end. So we're going to jump right into it. Um, there we go. All right, get this out of the way. No postmark because it's barcoded. This is voice actress Melody Britt. And she did a couple of voices on Batman, the animated cartoon from back in the day. Most notably, Batgirl. And here's another one. That's a cool shot. Describe these to Archer. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, Batgirl and Catwoman. The inscription. And also voiced She-Ra in the uh, She-Ra movie. So, Secret of the Sword. So that's pretty cool. Melody Britt. Uh, next one, let's see. If you guys are fans of music, you will probably know the group Jefferson Starship, Jefferson Airplane. Um, this is lead singer Grace Slick. And this is a cool shot from Jefferson Airplane. There's the group, and Grace is up top there. This one's to Archer, or High Archer, <coughs> and signed it this way. And this is a cool shot, just for Michael. You can see she found me, I'm number one, and then signed it. So, cool shot. And, of course, she was at Woodstock, and this is a just a cool art print. And signed it up top, just very slick on that one. So, that's pretty awesome. Uh, next one, very cool, Star Wars Return, coming from across the pond. Um... His name is Alan Harris, and he actually played a couple, a couple of notable people here. Here's a famous shot that everyone knows. There's Boba Fett, and there's Han Solo in the 
uh, Carbonite. And this is Alan Harris, one of the Bespin Guards. And this is Two Archer, Alan Harris, Bespin Guard. But you guys will probably know him best as the man in the suit for the Bounty Hunter Bosk. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, signed in silver to Archer Alan Harris with a Bosk inscription. It's a great shot from Empire Strikes Back. And he was also in the test costume for Boba Fett. So this is, they're designing the costume for Boba Fett and he was in the, uh, in the costume there. So two Archer, Alan Harris, Boba Fett uh, costume body. So that's a pretty cool inscription. So that's awesome from across the pond. I always like when those come back because they're a little more expensive to send. Uh, next one, sports related. One of the youngest females to win the U.S. Open. This is Tracy Austin. I think she was maybe 15 when she won. And pigtails. Woo! So there's that. Uh, she beat Chris Everett. So there she is with Chris Everett. Find it there. And you guys know I love my Sports Illustrated. So there's that. And signed right there. So it's pretty awesome from Tracy Austin. Um, one of those odd returns I just love. Not from a celebrity. Again, just something I read and did a little research. And I love getting these in. Um, I gotta get the name right. George De Vinci. De Vinci. Maybe it's just George De Vinci. Uh, but he was a correctional officer at Alcatraz Island, The Rock. So there's George's autograph with Alcatraz up top. Um, here is George inside the cell block. Signed it there. Again, just one of those non-celebrities that I love writing to because they touch history. Uh, these are the famous inmates, of course. Some of the worst of the worst. And it has a cool inscription. Correctional Officer Alcatraz Island. And George signed it there. He also sent a nice printout, which he signed up top for Archer. It has a great story about him being on the rock and a couple of, a couple of photos. So that's pretty cool. Uh, again, one of those non-celebrities and just something odd that I just love getting in. Um, let's see, seven minutes. We'll do one more. Um, JFK, 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 JFK. Everything else is JFK related, so I'm going to do a quick edit here. All right, guys, I got six JFK related returns, so here we go on those. Uh, first one added an extra stamp which is awesome because he sent a little extra. This is coming from Gary, Gary Delane. And of course sent the first day issue, which he signed. He is a reporter for KLIF uh, 1190 in Dallas, which was one of the first radio stations uh, to report the shooting in Dealey Plaza. Uh, Gary was also in uh, covering the Dallas Police Department basement where Oswald was killed the next day. And so he signed it, KLF 1190. And of course he was in the reporter pool. So there's a famous shot from uh, Bob Jackson where Ruby's about to kill Oswald. And also sent again another printout. This is four pages long, just tells a little bit of his story from his perspective. So that's awesome. Love getting those things in. Um, next one, very awesome. United States Marine, former uh, Tim Cheek. And Tim is one of the uh, body bearers and then the pallbearer for the casket assigned to the White House uh, in the West Wing there. Again, first day issue. Signed it down there to Archer, uh, Tim Cheek, United States Marine Corps. So here is the casket leaving the Capitol. Uh, Tim is up front right there. And on this one, to Archer, Tim Cheek, he's actually right here on the right side he is always down 
on the right hand side from the stripes. And how do I know that? Because, uh, hold on one second, he sent this. Again, another printout, um, photocopy of a different photo. Again, just leaving the Capitol, you got Jackie and the kids up here. You can find this photo online. Um, but he basically explains he's on the uh, bottom right hand side, down stripe from the, the stripes and the stars. Um, so again, awesome. Personal touch from these guys. Um, also signed my letter. So one of those non-celebrities again, going above and beyond. Uh, next one, pretty cool return. First day issue, um, this is Ronald Jones. He is now the chief, or was the chief surgeon at Parkland Hospital. Of course, Parkland is where they took President Kennedy after he was shot. Also took uh, Lee Harvey Oswald. Uh, first day issue to Archer. Here is Ronald with a cool shot of JFK in the background. And this is a plaque they have. Um, it's the original site of Trauma 1, November uh, 22nd, 1963. Uh, Trauma 1 is no longer there. It's now part of the waiting room since they've redone Parkland, but they have this plaque, which is uh, from the original Trauma Room. So, sign that. Also sent a printout. Again, Assassination of the President. And front and back. Again, personal touches on these are just awesome gives you some insight to that day so that's cool uh next one uh george barham and he is another one of the pallbearers for president kennedy's funeral uh first day issue sign it and pen it's kind of light uh to archer george barham and let's see if i can do this here he is the Signed it down there by my finger and actually drew a little arrow. It's hard to see in some pen, but he is the uh, Navy officer for the body bearer, the pallbearers. And so in this photo, looks familiar. He is standing right there. So he is down near the Stars and Stripes. And this is to Archer, and he again drew a little arrow. It's hard to see because he did that in pen, but. Another, another one of the pallbearers who buried a president. So I think there's what, six, six eight guys that can say they've done that for uh, President Kennedy. Um, next one, Robert Nelson uh, McClellan. He also was a doctor at Parkland Hospital and signed the first day, uh, Robert N. McClellan, MD. And here's a shot of Parkland Hospital. And again, the original site of Trauma One, sign that down there. So amazing story. Again, Google these guys, read their story. These guys were called in on emergency in suit and ties, trying to revive a president with a hole in the back of his head and his brains oozing out on the um, gurney. It's just amazing. All these people have some kind of story uh, last one, guys, Jim Ewell. He was a Dallas Morning News reporter. Um, signed two of three. Didn't get my first day issue back, but doesn't matter. Um, so here is the Texas Theater. And there's Jim in front of it. Signed it there. So I'll show you this photo in just a second. But he's standing with a big like 18 by 24 print of the day they captured Oswald, uh, to Archer, Oswald captured, uh, here, best wishes, Jim Ewell, and here's the photo, so this is when they brought Lee Harvey Oswald out of the theater, and so there's Lee Harvey Oswald, he circled him, because he circled, that's Jim right there, about five feet away from Lee Harvey Oswald. So he's a, a Dallas Morning News reporter. They're reporting uh, to Archer, me and Oswald, Jim Ewell, 1963. So pretty awesome. JFK stuff is blown up lately, and I 
talk to you guys about you know these people i write to them because one they've touched history whether they meant to or not um and a lot of these guys are getting older and we've passed the 50th year anniversary so i gotta get gotta get them while i can and uh tell you guys that are still watching thank you do your research make notes do your research that's a big big part of ttming research 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 awesome day sorry for the long video i'm gonna piece this together and uh if you guys watch thank you i'll try not to uh bore you guys with long recaps like this i'll try and stay on top of my mail but sometimes this happens so anyways guys mike from the autograph network